Hello, hello. Happy Saturday, everyone. Welcome to the International Wealth Builders Association radio talk show. I'm your host, Latoya Tillett, live on KCAA Broadcasting Network. I'm a member of the Black Inland Empire Real Estate Investment Club and find us women in real estate. So a little bit about myself. I'm the broker owner of Tillett Realty Group and also CEO of Tax Plus Financial Services. And as you know, this is tax season, so we're right in the thick of things. <laughs> so anywho, what I do is I specialize in helping my clients to um, put together um, di- um, diverse portfolios that include commercial, residential, and international properties while maximizing their tax benefits. So today I'm very, very excited to have my special guest in the building. Her name is Brianna Prince. Brianna, please tell us who you are and, you know, welcome to the show. <laughs> Thank you, Latoya. I appreciate it. Awesome. Yes, um, so my name is Brianna Prince, who I am. I am a legacy builder slash life insurance consultant. Okay. Um, so a little bit about me is, you know, I've been in the, in the life insurance industry now for almost 10 years. So okay. I was a baby when okay. I started. Yes, yes. <laughs> you <Obviously>. know, I, <laughs> I just turned 30. So, you know, it, oh, okay. it's... Wow. Yeah, really? yeah. So um, I actually started when I was in, in college. You know, mm-hmm. I started off as an intern working for a gentleman who was a broker. Okay. Um, and it's so funny because I think... I think that the people that I um, that I worked with back then would mm. actually laugh at the fact that I'm still in the, in the industry because wow. um, you know as an intern I just I didn't see it you know <laughs> I, like I understood what life insurance was it just right, wasn't right. something that um, I had ever aspired to do I really really just applied for the job just to look for an internship okay, that was it okay you know That's get some fair. real world experience you know I had right? a, a few jobs uh, prior to that but just really getting some experience out there. So okay, okay. then, um, yeah, I ended up um, staying on, staying in the life insurance industry, um, mostly just because I realized how important it was and mm-hmm. there was a huge need for it. Okay. So um, after a while, there was a question that I used to ask people all the time. Well, why are you looking for life insurance? You know, that was nice. a question I always asked okay. and I still That's ask to this day. That's a good question. I haven't been asked that one. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, it's... I like to know because what makes someone all of a sudden decide, let me request for some life insurance information. Right, right. And so then it got to a point where I was like, you know what? You know, because I would hear people's stories on why they're requesting life insurance, and I right. can talk about that all day. But, you know, it was usually because someone that they knew or uh, a family member passed mm-hmm, away unexpectedly, mm-hmm. so, that sort of thing. And so it, was, it just became something that I, I realized how important it was. And then right. I was like, I want to help. You know, so that's how I got into the industry. That's beautiful. That's amazing that you got in, and especially you got in so young. You got in at an age where most people, (laughs) the last thing they're thinking about is life insurance or selling life insurance. I wasn't even thinking about it at that time either. (laughs) (laughs) Right, right. But sometimes we grow into our our niches, as I would say. You know, you kind of have an idea of what it is you want to do like you know I always grew up like yeah I'm going to be a background dancer for Janet Jackson not realizing (laughs) just how old she'd be when I became an adult right (laughs) (laughs) but I mean she's still touring and everything so you know dream is she's fantastic man yes amazing Um, definitely going to see her this year yeah (laughs) okay anyway um (laughs) so yeah and then sometimes you just kind of grow into um, new careers when you start working and you know, checking different things out, and you kind of grow into a space that you're not necessarily, um, you know, necessarily wasn't on your vision plan. Right. <laughs> Definitely not. Yes. <laughs> but you kind of grow into it, and then you like it. And yeah. And you like to serve the people. So that is uh, that is amazing to hear. Yeah. You know, Definitely. I always knew I like to help people, so this was my way of, I guess, doing that, and mm-hmm. it's been fantastic. I love it. I love doing That's it. That's awesome. I like helping people too. <laughs> uh, it's like, okay, let's save some money on these taxes. Though. <laughs> That's what I really, really like to do. You know, um, helping people just really see the opportunities and options that they have. Yeah, I, um, I totally understand that. Taxes yeah. is a huge one. Yes, sure. it is. It and there's is. so many little different things within taxes that, I mean, I've been self-employed now for almost 10 years, and I, you know, wow. I still don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> That's what my, I pay my tax man for. <laughs> exactly, exactly. That's what you do. You get you a good tax preparer out there and an enrolled agent or a CPA that actually knows taxes because yeah. I know everybody thinks, oh, I just go to my CPA. But if your CPA doesn't specifically specialize in taxation, um, you know, you may not be saving as much money on your taxes as you thought. Sorry, right. put that out there. But <laughs> <laughs> just so everybody knows. <laughs> 
And so, um, anyway, so I'm looking at the name of your company. So it's called True Leg. True Leg. Why yes. did you choose that name? That is a fantastic question. I like to question. know the background. <laughs> so why, what goes into a name? Because it means something to you, it obviously. Does. It does. And it, it means a lot to me. So True Leg, um, when I was finally getting to a point where um, I'm like, I need, I want to actually grow this business. Mm-hmm. Um, so part of that was first what is my name going to be, you right. know? Um, and so I'm like, my what I ended up thinking about, well, what's important to me? Mm-hmm. Trust and integrity is really huge for me. Okay. Um, okay. So, because at the end of the day, in my opinion, the only thing that you can really trust a person off of is their character. True. And so my integrity is something that I don't compromise um, okay. on just because it's, it's a representation of who I am and I just, I can't compromise that. Right. And so um, that's, it came up with, so then I came up with the word trust. Okay. You know, I'm like, trust. And then um, life insurance. Life insurance is a legacy that you live behind, oh, le- uh, leave behind okay. for your family. And then, um, you know, I just kept playing around with that idea. Those were the mm-hmm. two words that I really liked um, with legacy because legacy means so many different things. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, whether you want to recognize it or not, we are all going to have an expir- we all have an expiration date, we you know, do. and the question is, and we all leave a legacy behind. The question is, what legacy are you leaving behind? Right. So um, I had a, a lady who requested for life insurance. And again, I asked her, this was 2016. Mm-hmm. And of course, I asked her that question that I always ask everyone. <laughs> what made you decide to get life insurance? Right, right. <laughs> and she uh, she told me because um, her mom had passed away unexpectedly, okay. mm-hmm. um, leaving her and her dad with a lot of debt and for her, it was like, I'm not leaving my family like wow. this. There's no way. Yeah. And and she ended up making the comment that now whenever she thinks of her mom, mm-hmm. that hardship she went through is the first thought in her head. I'm like, oh, my gosh, that is terrible. That is absolutely no. terrible. And I know it's not something that we like to talk about. Come on. Of course, of course. Not. Of course. But at the end of the day. But it's yeah, real. Yeah, absolutely. Um, right. And so, yeah, anyway. So true legacy was the thing that, the two words that um, I came up with and then just combined the two words to okay. come up with true leg. Nice. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. That's a really interesting concept. Um, <laughs> that's actually how I put my son, uh, my first child. I put his name together like that. What's his name? <laughs> Tyrion. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. So what I literally, that? I wrote my name down, wrote my husband's name down and crossed out letters until I made a name that made sense to me. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. What did your husband say? Renette. His name is Renette, so, oh, okay. you know, like Ty- Tyran, so the T-Y from me and the R-E-N from my And husband. when you came up with the name, what did he say? Um, he was cool with it. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's yeah. awesome. So it worked out well. Yeah. <laughs> Good for you guys. Awesome, awesome. So I am really loving the name, and now that I know the meaning behind it, yeah, you know, it makes it, you know, hit home a little bit more. I feel me. like it makes sense, you it know, does. once when there's an explanation behind it, because otherwise mm-hmm. you're like, what the heck is true leg? What does that even mean? <laughs> right. That's why I'm like, that's why I'm, I wanted to ask. I'm like, hey, how did you come up with true leg? Right. You know, why Why was that the choice yeah. that you went with? And yeah. so now we know because yeah. you're putting the, the trust and the legacy together. Yep. Okay. And I think that's an important piece, too, that goes with strategic planning. Anyone who's getting into, um, even just for your own family, but even Mm -hmm. if you're getting into investing and things like that, you definitely want to have a strategic plan where you know what's going to happen with everything and having a life insurance policy. um, We'll talk a little bit more about the products that you do offer, Mm -hmm. but I know there are certain products out there that protect your mortgage. Yep. So, you know, you have kids in the house still and you pass on. You know what, what's going to happen? How they're going to pay the mortgage if they're not used to paying it right yeah. before and everything? So um, definitely, you know, whenever you're putting together your strategic plan, you know, all the millionaires do it. Everyone they have key man life insurance policies within their businesses. Um, you know, they have certain protections for their assets and everything. So it's definitely a necessary conversation to have absolutely. because you always want to think with the end game in mind. Yep, absolutely. And so you know what's going to happen when I'm not here? What's going to happen if? And, you know, I'm laid up in the hospital and I can't, you know, do anything for yeah. a couple of weeks or a couple months or a couple of years even. Yeah. You know, and that's a lot of things that people do not tend to think about. <laughs> Some people choose to ignore it, too. Mm-hmm. You know, I, mm-hmm. I don't know what it is, but from my experience, I find it more common among men who just really? don't want to have that conversation. Wow. And, like, there's this client of mine. Um, I've known her now for about six years. Mm-hmm. Um, that's when I first helped her get her policy. Mm -hmm. So we got a policy on her, um, and the intent was to get a policy for her husband. Right. Her husband wasn't having it. Mind you, (laughs) her husband's 20 years older than her. 
Oh. He's now 79, okay. and she's 20 mm-hmm. years younger, so she's 59. 59. Uh-huh. Actually, she just turned 60, I think. Oh, okay, great. Um, so, yeah, you know, and I'm like, stati- this is what I was saying earlier about, right. well, we had our own conversation before this, but, <laughs> right. you know, I love numbers. Mm-hmm. Numbers, facts, and statistics are huge, in my opinion. Yes, very important. Yeah, because I feel like it tells a, a good story. Mm-hmm. So with this gentleman in particular, he, you know, again, it was uh, about six years ago or five to six years ago when we got uh, his wife's policy. And then, you know, th- when I first met with him, because I met with them separately, mm-hmm. um, because just because it, that's just how it worked out. And he was like, well, I don't want to worry about it. Right. And his wife was literally crying to me, legit, wow. just literally crying. Like when, when he's not there, by the way, okay. she's, she's okay. crying to me, just saying, if something happens to him, I have nothing. Because she didn't, she didn't work. She stayed at home mm-hmm. and everything. Okay. And, you know, the reason why they have everything is because of him. So right. she recognized, number one, if he passed away, mm-hmm. she loses her income. Mm-hmm. Um, and she has no idea what's going to happen to her financially. And she's not going to even be able to bury him. And wow. so... That was her concern, and you know, I brought brought that up to him and everything. But he is probably he is literally the most stubborn man I have ever oh my met. Gosh. But at the end of the day, um, it it really impacts her so much, and mm-hmm. I get so scared whenever I get a phone call from her oh my because gosh. I just get nervous, and I know I shouldn't, I know I shouldn't, but I just That's I do scary. because I know he's at a point now. He's seventy nine; he'll be eighty this year. Mm-hmm. He's already at life expectancy, statistically speaking, right? Okay, so, gotcha. It's like, hmm. the good thing is he's still healthy. Well, that's good. Get it together, though, because <laughs> life life happens. Life does I, happen. I, I don't know Even how else to, to say it. Ones. Life happens. It and does. Unfortunately, his wife, yeah, mm-hmm. is going to be the one to have to deal with it. And, right. you know, actually, I there was, girl, I can go on all day. I'm, <laughs> I'm dead yes. serious telling different stories. Oh, my goodness. There well, that's a- good. <laughs> but, yeah, that's what we need. We need real-life examples because you never know who you're going to touch. Well, yeah, you know, there was another lady that I uh, that I had spoke to. This was 2018. Mm-hmm. So this lady, um, she was reaching out for life insurance information. Uh, actually, I found her, well, she found me through Facebook. Okay. And um, I came over to her house uh, to sit, sit with her and everything, and she – ended up mentioning how her husband had passed away. Uh, This was probably, I want to say this was probably like in May of 2018. Okay. Her husband had passed away December of 2017. Oh, wow. So she wanted to, we were just talking, you know, Mm -hmm. and she, we had a conversation about how her husband had passed away. Okay. You know, life insurance was not, she wanted to get life insurance back in 99 when uh, he had his first heart attack. But mm-hmm. he was like, no, he didn't want to talk about it. Wow. And so they, it was a subject that was never talked about. Mm-hmm. But then when he passed away, she lost her home. Wow. She lost her income. She ended up moving in with her kids, mm-hmm. you know, which, you know, isn't right. always a bad thing, you know. Not but, always. you know, just that it caused stress. The ripple effect. Yes, yes. You know, and so... Yeah. Um, anyway, she didn't even have money to bury him and stuff, so she had to rely on family, friends, and that sort of mm. thing, um, unfortunately. But, you know, the good thing is she made it through it, right. of course, um, so that's what matters. But, again, even for her, she was like, I'm not <laughs> – my kids aren't doing going through this again. Right. They already went through it with their dad. They're not going to go through it again with, with – when the time does come for her, you know? Yes, that's definitely smart thinking on her behalf. But what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and take a quick commercial break, and we're going to come back and touch on some more um, life insurance topics and some different products. We'll get into some more different products that Brianna has to offer. So we'll see you guys in about two minutes. 